Hey everybody, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. I am Lina from Atech Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a piano using the uh, music extension. So please stick around for that. And also don't forget to subscribe and like us. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with our demo. So this is our demo and you guys can see that the cl clicks are giving us a different tone depending on which one you click. So this is what we'll be creating today. Hopefully you guys have fun as much as I did. and. You guys can change it to whatever instrument you want, obviously. Just make sure you make your own um, sprites for the strings or the keys or whatever it is the actual instrument has on it. So for this project, it's going to be a beginner's project. It's very simple, very easy to understand and we'll go through it over. On their, on their actual scratch area. It'll take you about 15 minutes, maybe less, depending on how many keys you want to do. Uh, the skills you'll be learning, you're obviously going to be learning the music extension and you're going to be learning how to use the event block. So it's only going to be a couple blocks for per sprite. Or maybe it's going to be like three, sprite, three blocks. And here are the steps you're going to have to follow. Step number one, we're going to add the music extension. Step number two, we're going to create the keys for the, the sprite for this key, so the key sprite. And then we're going to go ahead and add the code to that key. But then we're going to come back and repeat the process. And I'll show you, it's going to be really quick and very simple to do. Let's get started with step number one. First things first, we're going to go ahead and add the music extension. Go ahead and click on the bottom left corner of your screen here and click on this music icon. This will add your music extension and it will give you all these blocks here, plus it will give you this music icon here. And these are the blocks that we'll be using. We're only gonna be using a couple here. And the and that is how you add your music extension. And step number two, we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and, uh, and do our key sprite. So this is basically, we're gonna draw out the key for our piano. So now we're gonna go ahead and create our key. The first thing I'm going to do is delete the sprite that we currently have in there because I don't need the cat. And to create your own sprite, you go ahead and click on that cat looking thing here. Go to the brush, this is paint. And it'll give you a canvas, an empty canvas. And I'm just going to create a rectangle. And that'll be my first key. I'm going to make it slightly smaller and center it. And then I'm going to just position it to the left so that I can fit all my, all my other keys, keys in there. And that's it. You have your first sprite. And then step number three, we're going to add the code that you see here below for our first key. And then we're going to repeat step two and three again. All right, now let's go ahead and add code to this key. So we're going to go to the events area here on this bubble. We're going to go when this sprite is click. And then we're going to go to our music. We're going to choose our instrument here. And just a disclaimer, you guys can go ahead and do whatever instrument you guys want from here. I am doing the piano because the piano is my favorite instrument. And then you go ahead and add this, which is the note for the piano. So if you see, this is our piano. And you can choose many keys from the left or the right. I am going with whatever is the normal default ones. And I'm only going to do up to five keys here, plus these uh, keys up here, the black ones that go with those five keys. And then uh, I'll let you guys explore and create your own big piano. So what you do is you got this, when this sprite is clicked, so when you click on the sprite, you're going to go ahead and hear the, the actual tone of that key. So that's very simple. That's all you have to do. Click it and then add the instrument that you want and then what note on the piano you want. And this here you can change depending on how long you want it to be. Like when you hold the key, when you click the key, how long you want the, the thing to be. And that's it. And now we're going to go ahead and create the back to step number two. But we're kind of going to do it in a more simplistic way. What we're going to do is just going to right click on this sprite that here that we have and we're going to say duplicate. So now we have two keys. 
So continue doing that until get, you get the number of keys you want. Well, let's first show you how to change the node. So we're going to line them up, make sure they're correct. Now I'm going to change the color of that one. Now I'm just going to make it green. Okay. And then we're going to go back to the code and we're going to put that green key to be the next key. So if you notice, the purple is the C and then my green one is the D. And just continue do doing that until you finish the, the keys on the bottom. And then we'll do these little black keys. Oh, let's do duplicate. Duplicate them. All right, so I've added all the keys that are there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a duplicate of this last one and make it smaller on the ed edit area. So I'm going to go to this paint brush thing. Well, actually, I don't need the paint brush thing. What I need is to go back to that duplicate I made and then go to the canvas area. All I'm going to do is go ahead and select it and make it smaller. And a little wider. Let me see. I'm going to center it to the canvas. I'm just going to make these ones black. So we know that there are the those keys on the middle. And I'm going to change that specific key code to that key mm. here. So when you click on it, it'll just change the number. Now we're going to duplicate those three times. Well, two more times. Duplicate. Duplicate. And we're going to go ahead and change them to the number of the keys we need. Okay. And now let me position them where they're supposed to go. Okay, this one goes here. And this one goes here. So there, there you have it. This is your piano. And you can add and change as you want. And always, you can always create your own electric piano, organ, or whatever you want here. And just create a picture of it in a sprite. But remember, those keys or strings have to be individual. So you can, if you're able to click on each of them. There you go. So now, there you have it. You have your own piano that you can practice at home without actually having to um, buy a piano yourself. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and uh, being part of this amazing journey we're doing together. Uh, today I showed you guys how to make your own piano using the music extension from scratch. And I hope you guys learned a few things here and there. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and go ahead and add, add comments, questions, whatever you guys have. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Have fun.